Hey everyone, Zero Jade here with the XBLA Fans Channel. I'm here to do a quick taste of Block Tower TD, a tower defense game that I've been enjoying quite a bit. It actually has a mechanic I haven't seen before in a game like this. Granted, I don't play a lot of tower defense games, uh, but in this one you actually start with a singular uh, block of land with your uh, castle in the middle of it, and then you can expand outwards by buying different types of land, be it uh, forests for trees, uh, desert for rocks, swamps for gold, and then there's a, a snowy area for mana crystals and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I've been enjoying it a ton, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe there's a bunch of more uh, tower defense games like this, but it actually really reminds me of Forger, where you're buying the areas to get access to more resources and stuff like that. Uh, I've actually beaten the uh, first area here on medium. Uh, this one is very basic, uh, pretty... Uh, in a pretty neat manner, each of these areas has a small twist to it. So this second area here has these... Uh, orange trees, uh, orange, uh, these red pinkish trees here that will disappear after a while. Uh, this one here has, uh, increased, uh, raised area. So if you place a turret on a raised area, it does more damage. And actually, uh, the special units for this area will disappear after a set amount of time. Uh, which one? Uh, this one right here, uh, has corrupted stones and, uh, you'll spawn stone areas that, uh, will then uh, be freed of the corruption after a certain amount of time, uh, and you can use them to be mined. Uh, and this one just has a whole bunch of mana crystals and lots of magic. Uh, we're just going to go to the uh, basic area here, and I can uh, kind of show it off. Uh, but as you can see, here's my little uh, plot of land, and I have to defend my castle. I have 25 health, but you can see the upper left. Uh, in the upper right, you can actually see my wood, stone, and gold, and then under that, my mana. Uh, and then under that, that little bar is my research bar, and that's how I unlock more stuff. I get presented with some cards, and I pick from there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get a forest here, a forest here, and then we're going to put a sawmill right here. Uh, so as you can see, the sawmill is touching four trees. So that's going to give me a nice boost to uh, wood. Uh, and then we're going to place some uh, uh, towers here. See, if I put it up here, it's got a 25% increase in damage. And then uh, we're going to go to make sure I don't have it uh, increased speed. Uh, there is a decent amount of enemy types. Some of them are reskins, but it's like this is a fire wisp, but that's uh, strong against fire. This is a ice wisp. It's strong against ice and slow effects. You you get the idea. Uh, some enemies have like weird extra abilities, like there's this mushroom. When it dies, it heals everything around it sort of thing. Uh, let's see. More stone. We're going to get some sp stone right here. Put you there. Here we go. Uh, my favorite tower is actually the Star Tower. It is a magical tower that uh, attack has infinite range, does a ton of damage, but eats quite a chunk of magic. Uh, the way the magic works, I actually fully uh, dis misunderstood how it works. Ooh, um, let's get some more stone production. Uh, so if you look at my bar in the upper right, I have 100. So certain units will use chunks of magic every time they attack. I thought that it meant that it would just take away all my magic at the end of the round until the end of the round. So, like, one attack would bring me down to, like, 96 and then 92 and then so on and so forth. No, the magic regens during the combat. So, don't be like me and misunderstand and then not use magic for way, way too long. And you probably saw it. You can uh, speed up. We'll go, we'll go two times speed. Oh, another thing I really like is... Uh, turrets level up. I, it's not really based on, I think, and killing the enemies. I think as long as they get a shot in, uh, and you really don't do anything. It, they just level up. It's really nice. You don't have to worry about any, uh, extra steps there. But yeah, uh, my favorite turret is the star turret, followed by the bombardier turret, which is a big old cannon. We'll get a catapult and see how that works out. I'm not sure how I feel about uh, using my stone, but we'll be probably be fine. Grab you and you. So yeah, the catapult uses two stone per shot. I think we're pretty set for stone right now. Uh, also, you might be saying, that, oh, hey, research looks like it'll take a time to build up. You can actually buy a, a tower that increases that. Let's build you here. There we go. So those are some of the mana crystals right there. Get some rocks there. I can't do anything right now. 
But yeah, when I got to wave 50 on my first go through on medium, oh boy, there was a lot of stuff going on. Oh, there's my bombardier turret. Or tower. Put you there, you there, and you there. Uh, so I do have, uh, like, if the, if the devs make another one of these games like this, uh, that would be great. I would request that I, f I could have a button I could push beca uh, to show empty tiles, like these little empty spaces here, because at the end, when I was getting to, like, 30, 40, and 50, I had issues finding, like, like there were tiles that were empty, like, close to the middle of my, uh, my concoction I had going, and I just couldn't find them. And it was, uh, uh it got kind of close. Uh, one thing I do want to say, uh, this game is very, uh, forgiving. So, you don't take damage when the enemy hits the, the, uh, outside of your middle square here. They have to hit the middle of it. So, it's really nice, and they, you get plenty of time, and usually... I actually beat the first uh, 50 waves on medium the first time I did it uh, without taking any damage at all. Put you there. Uh, I will give people a warning if they play this game. Uh, at a certain wave... Uh, dang it, I can't do it here. Uh, there will be these rock cl uh, creatures that will spawn... Uh, like, see, my base is here. They'd sp they would spawn here, here here or on the other side and slowly move inwards uh so just keep an eye out for that because they uh, they spawn on the uh, vertical and exact vertical and horizontal lines from your um your base uh, i think we're good also there's an enemy that spawns like around the outside on your base uh your your tiles and comes inwards I really want to get that star tower and show it off. We'll, we'll get the shock tower since I have, I've never really used it. Uh, and then we're going to move to another level so I can show you another mechanic that this game has. That's a bit more traditional. Hmm. Not impressed. All right, we'll get out of here. Okay, so here we go. So, oh, it's not going to show up here. Okay, some trees disappear after 10 waves. There you go. Okay, so you see how there's that line coming from the left side there? So we're going to do this. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Hold on. Mess that up again. So, doot, doot. And bam. So, enemies will be coming from that left side, and I can kind of, like, control where they're going. I don't have enough resources to do it right now, but I'm gonna put you there, you there, you there, and then you there. There are a whole bunch of trees, lots and lots of trees. I actually like these turrets a lot. Their upgraded version just shoots a whole bunch of extra beams there. There we go. We'll do a few rounds of this one, and then I will uh, show you what I mean for the other thing. Oh, there are just so many trees on these. I should have used the, uh, the, uh, the deserts. But you get the idea. You can kind of make a, like, a winding path to counter them. Oh, the elf. Okay, so the elf is actually really fun. So if I place him near trees, he gets a damage boost. So if he's also on top of a pedestal, he would get so much more extra damage. We'll pop him in there and see how he does. We'll kick this up a little bit. For those curious about achievements, kill a certain amount of enemies, uh, survive 10 waves on every single map, stuff like that. Super easy. All right, so I think... This is the one I want to show you off. Yeah, there you go. It's the star turret in the bottom right. Okay. So what we're going to do is put a star turret here and put a star turret. Uh, no, a star turret is spiral. I don't like the spirals. Spirals confuse me. All right, so... See the crystals around here? Those are what I use for mana. I do need a pylon, but on this map, they slowly grow upwards and then they'll vanish. So see, I can't like mine or anything like that there. That won't help me there. 
So I can do is put that there, put you there, and we should be good. You can't really see it, but the, the star turret uh, is pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you how awesome. Oopsie. Uh, wait, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this crossbow. It does 20 damage, and this is like a level one crossbow. 20 damage, rate of fire, 20 shots, per, uh, 30 shots per minute, range of 85. The star tower is 240, 92? I'm not sure. 30 shots per minute, and it has infinite range. It's great. But yeah, uh, I would 100% recommend this game. I'm going to keep playing it, dust off the uh, rest of the achievements, uh, and I really like it. I'm not the biggest tower defense person, but this is simple. Uh, it's enjoyable. Uh, actually, let's go back over here real quick, and I can show you. Here you go. These are the these are the enemies. These are the towers and all the kind of fun stuff you'll encounter. Uh, if you look at the bottom right there, like the ghosts, they're kind of in the middle. Uh, they reflect projectiles and stuff like that. Uh, that bat will slowly get faster. There's that mole. I don't like that mole. Uh, the golem is the one I was talking about earlier. And then like the fire wisp, ice wisp, uh, wind wisp, stuff like that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. And again, uh, go play this game. It's really enjoyable. Take it easy.